Hey folks, and all be all here, and we're back with week three. Uh, this is going to be a holiday weekend, given that it's uh, Christmas coming up, and uh, I'm planning to take some time off, um, and uh, probably won't be. We'll be around some family, so won't be around to stream my second match. So the second match of this week, I'm planning to uh, uh, skip. So I'll see you guys directly on Sunday when I'll stream the finals, and I'll give you guys an update of how my second match went during that time. But uh, let's uh, get on with our current match, which is going to be against uh, Lorsky from uh, the guild Wookiees Always Win. It's a pretty good guild, and uh, this guy's a pretty good player as well. 540k lifetime banner, and look at this. He has reached 103 in Kyber before, so pretty decent success in Grand Arena. Tends to go offense heavy, um, and uh, he's got, let's see what GLs he has. I believe he's got two just like me. Yep, just uh, JML and Ray. The two light side GLs just like me. Um, and uh, every time that I've seen him place a, a GL, he usually keeps it in the front. Um, I don't see a GL over here. I see G, uh, I see a few other tough teams, but I have a feeling that my opponent has saved both the GLs for offense. But uh, let's see. I mean, there could be something hiding at the back. I have been surprised by this before. So I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't count it out completely. So... Um, for my uh, defense, I have kept uh, my DR squad here along with the uh, Dooku with the um, Nest and uh, and Django. I decided to keep my Newt uh, for offense because my opponent does keep CLS on defense quite a lot. I kept both uh, General Grievous squad as well as Newt on offense. Um, at the back, I've kept a uh, crew. Or I'd rather Hux um, first order and then gas over here as well as uh, on top uh, three relatively tougher teams. There's the, uh, the CLS squad, the Padme squad with R2 this time and uh, kept uh, JTR this time with both the heroes which uh, can get pretty tough especially with uh, original Finn in there as well to try to uh, you know heal and dispel buffs. So that uh, that can make that slightly tough. And kept both the uh, get ships on uh, on defense as well. So my opponent hasn't gone yet, um, Lorsky, um, but this is what he has on defense. He's got a crew squad, got a JTR squad, and a relatively weak bounty hunter squad. That shouldn't be a problem. And then down here, he's got two uh, tougher teams. Um, I have a feeling that there's no GL at the back, but we have to still save at least one of our GLs. I've kept both of my GLs, Ray and JML, on offense and I'm going to save at least one of them for the back um, and try to one shot the board. Uh, my goal with the zone down south is always overkill. Um, the CLS squad is going to be the toughest. Um, I, I have a team saved up for it. So I'm going to use this. Um, and uh, this one really the important thing over here in this counter is to make sure that Grievous gets to go while he's still stealth um, and uh, that way they initially they won't uh, counter him back and the key is to spread target lock as much as you can so it depends on who Han targets first if he's targets my magna guard um, I think my newt may go next because he's faster uh, he's got 280 something speed and I think that's faster than most of the CLS squad of course they gain turn meter as well but if they target newt my Newt is tanky enough to actually maybe withstand. Yeah, he's tanky enough to maybe withstand a, a Han stun. So he may not die immediately. And Grievous may not get an immediate turn. Um, so, but he'll still be out in the open. So I have a feeling CLS squad may take it down. So let's see how this goes. We're going to take this in. And uh, let's hope we can get, we can spread enough target lock around for it not to matter. All right, so that's great. So Newt did die. So even a G13 Newt does manage to survive over here. What we're going to do is we're going to target Chewbacca and do an AOE. And we have a target lock on everyone applied except for Han Solo. Now we have to see which ability applies target lock. The basic. But we're not going to do the basic. We're going to do the AOE for now. And I'm going to apply the extortion on Commander Luke Skywalker. Lower his offense and uh, 
and uh, and lower his speed as well. And the most important character to take out over here is Chewbacca. Just because uh, he not only assists like Chupio, but he also does 20% damage uh, to health, um, which is uh, extremely uh, deadly. So let's try to get him down as soon as we can. Um, I'm going to dispel all debuffs. Let's do this. Alright, so he's got down. The next character that I like to go after is 3PO and Chewie. Um, there is uh, there's still no target lock on, uh, on Han. Inflict target lock on selected target. So maybe I will do this on Han. Okay, so we got target lock applied over there. Let's go back to 3PO and uh, see if we can't. So another reason why I like to get rid of Chewbacca first is because uh, he also inflicts a guard on a couple of these characters and you can't stun them. So that is uh, that does make the make them a little more problematic. All right, what am I going to do now? Um, increase their cooldowns. I'm going to dispel the translation over here and increase his cooldowns. Um, and then let's see if we can't apply target lock on him and heal up uh, IG a little bit. Okay, so target lock is applied. So now we can go ahead and take care of Luke. And that should do it for 56 banners. Anything above 55 is great with Grievous. Important thing is the CLS squad was one shot. Now against the Darth Revan squad, I'll probably just take in my Ray solo. I think it should be more than enough. Um, I've done it before a few times. Um, I wouldn't risk it if it was a more highly geared Ray or a more highly geared DR. But I think this, this should be fine. Ray is not going to get uh, stunned or shocked or feared. Well, she does get shocked, but that's fine. All right, let's take care of DR right away. Uh, and then let's keep giving health back to Ray. And now we can go into ultimate. And that should take care of a few of these characters. Uh, let's see how many we're able to take off. Okay, a couple of them. Let's uh, keep giving protection up. She is going to be a uh, ability block most of the time. But I think that's fine. Let's, uh, let's just finish off HK. Alright, let's keep going down. We're not going to get full banners for health anyway. So, we might as well just focus on... Uh, retaining our protection up. I think we'll still end with 53 maybe. Let's see. Oh sorry, 63, not 53. Yeah, 63 because we are missing a little health. Which is fine. So we are doing okay in terms of banners. Let's see what's at the back. Uh, no Jedi Master Luke, no, no uh, GL as I expected. But uh, we do have uh, a couple of squads which would probably use Treya and, and Vader. So let's make a, not very highly geared, so I'm not too worried about these. Um, I think the toughest squad probably might be the First Order and the JTR squad. So let's make a plan, come back and make sure we uh, maximize our banners over here in order to put some pressure on our opponent. Alright, so let's take uh, against the crew squad. I'm going to take in uh, Jedi Master Luke. Um, this probably is overkill, but I don't think I need Jedi Knight Luke anywhere else. So let's just take care of that. All right, let's go with Jedi training on Jedi Master Luke. And let's call him to assist on Sit Trooper and get rid of him. And let's stun everyone. And now let's go after Hux. And Let's just keep working on uh, this guy. And now first order executioner. 
let's just do a kill with Hermit Yoda. Always love to do that. Let's do a heal. And let's get rid of him that way. And it should be an easy should be an easy 61 banners. Could have probably gone undersized, way more undersized over there, but that's fine. Um, against JTR, I'm going to use uh, Jedi Knight Revan. That should be more than enough. Just have to make sure I do enough assists to um, to uh, get uh, protection back. Spread some foresight around. All right, now let's reduce some turn meter. Let's keep going after them. Han is going to have tons of uh, defense and uh, counter chance, but, uh, but I think that's fine. Foresight really uh, screws a lot with the ray, and uh, they're not able to get much, much damage done. Let me actually just do this and uh, attack with uh, maybe Basti. Okay, let's give this back, get rid of uh, Chewy, and now let's go after JTR. I think we managed to retain all our banners over there, so we should be fine. Spread some buffs around. And they should do it, I think. Okay, managed not to get hit. 60 banners there. Against the Bounty Hunter squad, um, I still need to do that offense up feat, which uh, I did get some, I think, with the, with the Jedi tree team and with Shark T. But I think the best squad to really do it with is Mon Mothma. Um, with Pow in there because he will be using his special almost every single turn so it's uh, great for uh, it's really great for this particular feat so you'll see over here offense up to everyone and let's call uh, this guy over Basic over here again, Django. Want to make sure that Django is out of the picture. And uh, let's work on the Mandalorian. Okay, one death. Power offense up again, second death. Let's reduce some more turn meter. Uh, let's land a big hit over here. Always basic with, with Scout. And yep, basically, uh, don't let these guys take a single turn. This can work with much tougher teams as well. This one was mostly a G12 bounty hunter squad, um, but uh, I have more than enough squads for the uh, for the other team, so I think they should be fine over here. I've been keeping this team on defense all this while, but it's been taken out pretty easily with EP and Vader, so I think uh, I'll get more bang for the buck keeping this team on offense. Uh, let's see what uh, ships are there. Radus and uh, and home one. So that's probably going to be uh, it's going to be mirrored. All right. Now against these squads, what am I going to take? I'll probably take Vader against uh, against the Geos. And what else do I have? And I'll probably take uh, Treya against uh, Mon Mothma. These guys will hit hard. Do I have any other Sith? Maybe I just use a Halp in there. Yeah, just for the additional uh, health loss that Rebels have. Um, I am going to Fracture Biggs.
and uh, pass this over to isolate her Ooh, <laughs> look at that EP is almost gone but we're gonna get some healing back up there and we're gonna start working on these guys one by one let's get rid of Lando I don't like all those uh, all those um, AOEs that Lando does. Let's recover some protection. Uh, let's annihilate... Uh, let's actually just annihilate Biggs. Let's pass this back to Treya. And let her get some days in here. Lando is back but not for long probably. So that's one thing with Kara. She uh, does, she is anti-Empire, so she does tend to uh, stun them. Let's pass this back over to Treya again, top her up, give this back to Thrawn. Let's heal up Palp. And let's just get rid of him again. And let's try to recover some protection, although we probably won't go full 55. Nah, could have been better. Maybe I didn't need Palp in there. Could have been a 57 in that case. Now against the Geos, I'm just going to go in with my Vader squad. Vader, Watt, and Piet and Morph just for extra insurance although I don't anticipate I'll need them but uh, but yeah let's just uh, let's just go with this weapons tech to Vader um, taunting tech to Piet let's reduce everyone's turn meter and let's get going um, let's do um, on Sunfac, we'll do the Force Crush so that it doesn't counter. Um, let's throw... Let's actually get rid of uh, Brood Alpha, since he's the only one relicked up there. Rest of them, I think, can be handled pretty easily with basics. Let's do a Force Crush over here. Take care of him. So 60 banners. Okay, a little bit of protection lost on... Moff Gideon. So pretty decent character zone. Now we need to uh, take care of the ships. So I have, uh, I don't have any get ships. I do have my Empire ship that I could potentially use but I think uh, against rebels I just want to uh, mirror. I don't want to take a chance. This is a good rebel fleet although there's no Biston. I'm going to take in my own rebel fleet and hopefully I'm able to chew through them fast enough. I like to go with Biggs as a starting um, point and then I like to go with the call Wiving as the first reinforcement. So let's do this and let's see if we're able to take down their Wiving fast enough. Um, Alright, let's give uh, protection to everyone or uh, defense penetration. And now let's go after their rebel wiving. Uh, we'll need to. So they healed up. Okay. Let's keep going after the wiving. Let's do a mass assist with Biggs. And we got Biggs down. And let's call in our own Y-Wing because I want to be able to recover some protection. And uh, let's go after this particular Y-Wing. Mm, they got rid of my Biggs. Hmm. Maybe I should have just called in a Phantom to finish it off. Let's do uh, uh, 
uh, there's no one to heal there's just a call and assist someone else is going to come in okay let's heal up and uh, let's do a basic over here basic does help to recover some protection on these guys um, all right let's just call Cassian and finish it off call and assist on this and there we go okay still entered to 64 banners despite losing bigs um, hmm. now it does have the houndstooth in here which uh, makes it uh, makes the mirror slightly tricky but I think uh, I, I always hate mirrors but I think uh, with my resistance uh, X-Wing pilot um, I should be able to uh, I should be able to dispel the taunt on the enemy hounds too at least that's going to be the goal so let's see let's get our usual bunch of ships in and hopefully this won't get too messy let's take a look um, I'm gonna go after should I go after Poe or Scabray? Let me do this. Let me go after Scabray. And I think the uh, Houndstooth is going to go next. Okay, let's... Uh, let's actually heal everyone a little bit. And let's... Because I needed Breach out of the way so that I can dispel houndstooth uh, pretty effectively and then go after uh, after these guys one by one okay let's get this guy in raise millennium falcon and uh, let's do an aoe actually because i want to get rid of the foresight over there we've done an aoe as well okay um Counters are no problem because we have Houndstooth over there. Let's do this, get some protection up. Let's give this to Houndstooth. And let's get rid of Boba. And we need to get rid of the enemy uh, Millennium Falcon as soon as we can. Let's get our taunt back up. Okay, AOE. Almost got rid of it. Uh, let's... Uh, I won't be able to dispel the debuffs, but... Uh, let me actually get rid of the target lock. Well, actually, I should have called in Eben Hawk, but that's fine. Ooh, getting close to losing um, my ships over there okay at least my houndstooth still has the uh, the taunt up and this should call in my final ship and let's recover some protection get rid of hounds get rid of the houndstooth as soon as we can and then the other ship shouldn't be a problem yeah, Millennium Falcon, always uh, problematic. With the Relict Up uh, Resistance Fleet, they uh, they do hit extremely hard. All right, uh, looks like we do have the battle under control. Will I have chance to get another heal off? Probably not. Oh, I won't be able to heal anyway because I don't have a capital ship. Forgot about that. All right, 65 and 63 in fleets. Not too bad. 21, 28. I think I, that's a comfortable score. Uh, my opponent would need to get 58, 59 banners on average per match to uh, to win, which is going to put uh, tons of pressure on him um, because these are uh, relatively tougher teams, banner stripping teams, um, especially the ship zone over here. And he doesn't have his houndstooth as well. 
so we'll be curious to see how uh, how this goes i'll give you guys an update shortly um, so hang around all right uh, let's take a look at the final score so my opponent did go and uh, did one shot my board which i was pretty surprised about uh, because uh, i think it's the first time in three or four months that uh, my board is being one shot i always get at least a few holes so definitely a good player but did lose on efficiency by about 23 banners um yep so everything was one shot no problem at all i think uh, just because i think he had he also had just like me saved both gls on offense but uh you know definitely lost some banners against some of the tougher teams that i had on defense including my two get ships so that's it for uh for the first match um as i mentioned before i will not be uh streaming or recording a second match I will see you guys in the finals. Now, in the finals, I do plan to do something a little different. Going forward, I have invested in a new uh, headset and installed OBS on my computer. So, um, I'll hopefully start to start streaming uh, on OBS and up my production quality a little bit, maybe with a webcam as well. That's going to be my goal. Um, but I need to figure some tech stuff out before that. So, look forward to seeing me on uh, the finals in a, in a slightly different format. Alright, um, that's it for now. Take care, happy gaming and happy holidays.